All right, folks, so not the video I planned on making, but uh, I blew the oil pump in the old Sportster. Um, driving along, no problem, whatever. Get to my buddy's house. Literally, as I'm rolling uh, the last 50 feet on his road, turning his driveway, the oil light comes on. I'm like, that's weird. So I'm looking, and I'm like, maybe it's just a sensor or whatever. Well, long story short, I kind of did a couple tests and everything else, and pretty damn sure it's the oil pump. I'm actually not getting pressure. So I'm going to check the lines and stuff to make sure there's nothing pinched. But, yeah, not not good, guys. Not good. So uh, stay tuned. All right, guys, this is my buddy's beautiful V45 Honda Saber, 1982. Freaking mint condition. Got the tour uh, fairing on it and the tour packs, or the saddlebags. Um, they were factory options or accessories, whatever you want to call it. Beautiful, beautiful bike. You got a fork brace. Actually, they might have came with them. No, I think they came with them. Um, super clean bike. But anyway, not the point of this video. We got to do an oil pump on this guy. Apparently, she uh, blew the oil pump last night. We made a short on it. So we're going to try to do a little diagnostic and uh, fix her up. So the oil pumps are like there. So it'll be fun to get to with all the exhaust and everything on, but we'll figure it out. Not the end of the world. Stay tuned. All right, folks. So I tore it back down. Not as far, of course, as if I was doing the whole motor. Thankfully, well, as you can see, the drive gear is absolutely gone. But uh, all the cam bearings, bushings look good in both sides, the cam cover as well. The rockers look good, the arms and all that jazz, the push rod, you know, tips are good, they're not worn down. So I don't think anything happened to the motor, but we got to get this gear off, uh, get a new one, get all the gaskets and put her back together. Uh, cams are good as well, as you can see. And uh, I got a whole pile of dirty, oily parts over here, but hey. It could have been a lot worse. I could have blown this motor right up, not having any oil pressure. Luckily, I caught it super quick, and I caught it near idle. So I'm thankful for that, but a little discouraging, of course, nonetheless. But hey, stuff happens, you know? What are you going to do? All right, it's a new day. Um, I don't have too many updates here. Just uh, getting things ready. Got to get that new oil pump gear. Um, I called Hammer, but they weren't able to call me back on Friday, so I gotta wait till tomorrow, today's Sunday. Not the end of the world. I bought gaskets and stuff. Now, technically, I could use the original oil pump gear, but with the higher horsepower motors, I guess they wear out. So I'm gonna talk to them. If I can't get a gear for some reason, like remotely quickly, like let's say they're back ordered or something. I might ask them how many miles they think that gear will last because I'll run it this season with the old gear and then replace it over the winter. However, I'd have to tear it back down to this point to replace it. So I really don't want to do that. Seems like not the best idea in the world, just time-wise. But we're going to think about it. Um, the other thing i got to figure out is I'm going to do this in a second. I want to clean all these lines out. I'm going to use AC Flush, a can of AC Flush. And the reason for that is it's a solvent, um, kind of meant for cleaning compressor particulates out of your AC. I think it'll be perfect, and it won't get in the motor because I'm just doing the lines, and then I'll spray them out with air, and I'll dump a little oil down them and kind of bleed them that way. So none of it will be in the motor, but it really should actually clean the lines out. Just this, really just this return line, you can't really see it, but there's a little bit of particulates in there from when it was pushing the bronze into the tank. So I'm also going to make sure the tank is clean to the best of my abilities. I'll change the oil super quickly after. Let's see if there's anything in there. Yeah, there's some debris in there. You can't really tell on camera. So I'm going to try to clean this tank out the best I can. Unfortunately, we're going to just kind of have to let some of it flush itself out, I think. But uh, I might pull the oil tank off, actually, and... Really, really try to clean that out good with some brake cleaner or whatever. Well, I had to take the oil tank off to clean it because it's got all debris in it. So that's in the, out of the way. But you have to take the fender off to do that. So the fender is now sitting on the ground. We got a gi giant mess of parts and I'm a little bit grumpy. All right, guys. So as you can see, I'm home right now. I need to do fold laundry back there. But uh, I'm beat. Went to AmeriCade yesterday. Spent all day there. Went over to the shop, just filmed the 
little 15 second video here. I just was not in the mood. I was pretty grumpy to be honest with you. Doing all this, but we got to keep it in perspective. I don't think the motor's hurt. That's awesome. You know, nobody's got cancer. This is a very small speed bump in life. It's just a little frustrating and discouraging because I put so much time and effort and love into this thing. And, uh, you know, it's back apart in the middle of the summer. So it's all part of life. So anyway, just wanted to wrap this one up because I didn't do it at the shop. So as always, thanks for watching. God bless America, and I'll see you in the next one.